So this is courtesy of one of my favourite podcasts I listened to recently. Well, I've started to listen to in the last, what, three years or so, it felt like, called The Red Scare, or called Red Scare, sorry, Red Scare Podcast, featuring Anna Cashin and Dasha, whatever her surname is, right? Two, um, two extremely Caucasian New York art hoes who talk about a whole bevy of things, mostly in the realm of the cultural commentary stuff. And um, yeah, I'm I'm a fan of it. I listen to it every week whenever it drops. I, I sub to them on Patreon and shit. So I'm a big fan of what they do. Um, I think they're pretty R-worded in some of the views that they have, but I enjoy the fact that they are quite R-worded and they do not take themselves too seriously. And um, they just cover the things that I'm interested in. And it's nice to hear it from like a female perspective. And yeah, whatever. But it's interesting lately that they took a massive hiatus, right? Massive break in between, maybe the longest um, they've taken so far from what I've seen. And for whatever reason, they feel as if they like don't owe the fans an explanation as to why they've been away for so long. Again, you don't owe a full, you don't really owe anyone an explanation. But once you do come back on air and you explain why you're away and then people take the piss out of you because obviously, you know, they've had some very interesting views when it comes to what they contracted you should expect it right in some respect so the one thing that i have the issue with is the fact that they didn't alert everyone and tell people why they were going to be away or at least tell people hey we're going to be away for this reason you know and let, and let people hate on you there or rip you in line and then by the time you come back the kind of the kind of a uh, ritual sort of died down but anyway instead of burying the lead anna k unfortunately got covid during the time that they were on some sort of hiatus which obviously extended it for some period of time and the way that she explains how she got it and the kind of cope and the rationale and the excuses made is pretty puzzling, especially when you consider that she's a new mum. It just blew my mind. It really did. And it kind of speaks to the complete contrast in how people deal with COVID in the US and in the UK. It seems like for whatever reason, the US has politicized COVID and the vaccine to the point where people are willing to take ridiculous risks just to kind of prove their point. And then if their point doesn't get proven, the other side then take a lot of pleasure in the fact that the person contracted COVID and in some cases they pray for them to die, right? You see it happening a lot on that Herman Cain subreddit or Herman Cable Awards subreddit where people post up screenshots and images of people who they followed on social media, random people who they don't fucking know, who maybe are super against the vaccine, super against Biden, whatever they're against, right? And then they kind of follow their progress as they eventually contract the virus and usually pass away. And they sort of take glee in it. It's a really macabre thing. It's a subreddit it exists. It's called the Herman Cain Award. Definitely check it out if you haven't before, right? And obviously it's named after Herman Cain, who himself was a staunch anti-vaxxer only to get COVID himself and then obviously pass away. So it's quite trippy to, to see that. But it's also, like I said, the mind-blowing thing about it is the fact that Anna Kay, Anna Cashin, sorry, is a new mum. I think a kid isn't even one years old yet, right? And you just imagine if you were a new mum, you would just weigh up your pros and cons and maybe put aside your political um, inclinations or ideological, whatever it may be, right? That's making you a bit hesitant on taking the vaccine. Just say, in terms of risks and in terms of allowing me to be there for my child who will desperately need his mother more than he'll need his father at that sort of age, it probably be wise for me just to get the vaccine, just to avoid any of the other kind of quote unquote long COVID consequences or whatnot, right? You just imagine what it would be. Maybe after that, you might say, I'll draw the line at the double jab and knock in the booster. That's okay. But you would imagine the actual vaccine to begin the thing with either two shots might be the first thing you get just so you can cover your bases. But she didn't. She kind of explains here why I'm going to play the clip for you to where they kind of explain how they got it and the cope. It's really puzzling. And then we're going to go on to some of the reactions on social media because they were tearing down a K of new one on the social media. And for whatever reason, she seems to be replying with some vitriol and anger. And I just can't work out why she didn't kind of figure out or why she didn't know that this would be the response. Like, you know, you spend, again, the, the pod, I wouldn't say they're known for being mean, but you could you wouldn't be far off if you said the way to describe red scare would be like these two white women who are really mean right <laughs> so if they're really mean about people and laugh and glow when people make mistakes and whatnot and you know try and make fun of it and try and make an entertaining podcast 
it shouldn't be out of the realm of possibility that when you go through something that people think is worth pointing and laughing at, that they're going to take the opportunity to point and laugh. And I think you should just kind of take your licks as it comes and just keep it moving. But engaging people and start like going back and forth, it, you immediately lose. You don't, you don't come out of it looking good at all, especially considering what we're going through and especially, especially considering her, you know, her situation being a new mum, it just blows my mind. Anyway, this is a clip of Anna Kay and Dasha talking about um, them both catching COVID. I think Dasha is actually vaccinated. So obviously her, her sort of symptoms and the effects of COVID weren't as harsh as Dasha, but for whatever, so as, as Anna, but for whatever reason, Anna thinks it wasn't because of that. It was because of some autoimmune disease that she's got. But anyway, let's, let's just hear the clip. It was I don't know either. Really. I was debating. <laughs> Um, whether to say that I was transitioning mm -hmm. or getting a facelift, mm -hmm. just needed some dime, downtime. <laughs> um, no, I like literally almost died. I, I got almost died, y'all. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> like seriously. Um, I got that COVID. would be so fucked you up got if COVID. you died. I got COVID too, but yeah. we'll, we'll get back to my COVID. The whole cause... squad got COVID. Um, but... Omicron. I think so. I don't know. I mean, I have no idea. They don't like <sighs> test for variants. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it was the weirdest experience because I got COVID and like two days into it, I started developing like this weird like rash. And then o only afterward did I get like fever, sore throat, body aches, whatever. And I had it for three weeks, which is crazy because yeah. most people yeah. recover within at least you know within two weeks and i wonder why i was texting you and you're such a freak who gave birth in your own apartment <laughs> so you kept like being like yeah i'm okay yeah i was in but like i can't really walk and so you'd say something like that and i was like okay <laughs> i was trying to be like, stoic I'm yeah like stoic you're, you're very is stoic like, is what i mean yeah and i was like so I'm, it was I'm hard like the, for me to gauge really i was like hey, yeah I'm sick i guess but i'm sick too but i'm like no, Mostly I know. Fine. I should be like more like why. upfront and transparent. I'm just like so prideful and stoic. I never like want to ask for help or anything. But like, I literally couldn't walk third weekend, and my wrists couldn't weren't working. I like, couldn't lift the baby, and I was like, okay, this is Cause like of inflammation. Because of inflammation, it was like arthritic inflammation. I was like, okay, this oh is weird, God. and I went on like I spent Christmas here in like a debilitating state of pain and then i went to the hospital on eli's birthday on the 27th because i literally just like couldn't walk and like my situation wasn't improving and i like long story short i didn't even have covid like what the covid like you did have covid i did i got the covid but it it triggered a random freak auto inflammatory like immune response press x for doubt on that one but regardless whether you believe it or not it's just an insane insane way to try and rationalize your like um i wouldn't say even a mistake just i, I, I don't even know what to say anyway let's just let's just continue on right so um some people had some choice words to say about the entire thing obviously you know, that's sort of right one i need um this is it again um you know her going back and forth with people online someone posted this on reddit it says um her in response to somebody says i'll recover from the illness and get over the personal insults which aren't even personal in the end but i'll never be able to wrap my brain around the sort of mindset that delights in the pain and suffering of the misfortune of others again a little bit of cope a little bit of a violin story there you know whatever and then someone replies and says you made a podcast dedicated to being cruel and mean-spirited why did you think it would be an exception now again i think that's a bit of a I think that's a little bit of a um, unfair character characterization, but it's not far off, right? There is a bit of point there to be made. And obviously Anna replies back and says, anyone claiming that just mirroring the tone of the pod is either stupid or a liar. There's no equivalence being tossed off um, snark and extensional malice. I make fun of myself way more than I make fun of others. Mm press x for doubt on that one and then on twitter of course the response has been fucking brutal someone here posts um saying there's a lot of text here and dumb stuff but if you know who anna is the drama is great uh, uh, um, anna cashian refused to get the vaccine for health reasons got covid and now has a rare autoimmune, autoimmune disease likely triggered by covid and all the weird red scare fans are turning on her yeah but true i wouldn't say red scare fans are, are weird i'm not weird I don't think so. I think I'm fairly normal. I just think it's hilarious to see these girls, you know, bending over backwards to kind of explain 
quite clearly a mistake when it comes to Anna's side of things. That should do again. I think if you're young and you don't have any family, or don't you know family, you don't have any dependents, and you just you just you and your own. I think you can take whatever risk you want. I don't think anyone's bothered about that. Um, I myself, I only got the vaccine because of the quote unquote industry or the scene that I'm in when it comes to nightlife and going around being a DJ and going to parties and shit. I knew I had to get one just so I can go about trying to um resume whatever side hustle i had going on there right my kind of like second revenue stream in terms of going out and playing and obviously trying to become some level of high or well-known dj that's the only reason why i got it obviously when that happened it didn't change anything because now when you go to clubs people ask you for flipping lateral flow tests more than they ask you for the fucking vaccine passport so it was a bit of a pointless time to get it it was a bit pointless to get it and also you know every new strain it feels like they're going to make you get a booster there's talk here in the uk that supposedly the covid vaccine passports won't be valid unless you get the booster in the future loads are really mad to it. i know that's changed but in general it was a pretty rational decision to get vaccinated because i went to go party i went to dj and i went to be able to travel so i just got it just for that so you'd imagine if you're a new mum with a kid that's under one years old you just want to be there for the kid because like i said those formative years that kid needs their mom way more than they need their dad you know again i like eli he seems like a cool dude but if eli didn't exist that kid would be fine with anna right so you need to be there for your kid so you'd imagine that would be the the kind of deciding your kind of guiding north star in order for you to get the vaccine just for the cause of that for alone now if you decide you want to make a hard stance to get some booster cool but just get the actual vaccine and then move on from there you would imagine so but you know that didn't happen um next tweet from somebody here says anna k yeah that's the thing with these mandates right it's all about um like control right her baby shrieking and flaping to flesh tenor calls in the background after covid infused breast milk turned into john carpenter's the thing that's a bit mean i don't like that one another person says red scares anna k is currently dealing with long-term damage from getting covid after refusing to be vaccinated <laughs> uh, but i think she basically what she's trying to say is that she's always had autoimmune issues or whatnot and maybe um, getting COVID flared them up but it also I think she's arguing that there's no guarantee that she would have got the vaccine it wouldn't have flared up anyway but people are then not saying that most likely the detractors are basically saying most likely she got the flare up because she wasn't vaccinated and then she got COVID but who knows what's right um another one says oh my fucking god maybe universe does have a sense of humor anna k allegedly revealing she got wrecked by covid transgressive podcaster joins her host of the day. i think i'll never quite there um another person says i oh know that's from january what's the person says here i know i've been waiting from no another person says i know people i know people have been waiting for me to weigh in on this very important um issue so let me be very clear it's very objectively funny that Anna Kay has long COVID and no health insurance. Again, I think these are people that mean because they make, that's the thing that's really strange about these kind of, um, this kind of discourse. Cause it feels like a lot of the kind of meanness that's directed at the Red Scare Girls comes mostly because they make a lot of money, right? Cause I think their patrons at what? Is it like 30K? I don't know how much it is. It's, it's just a lot of money, right? For what they do and considering, you know, some people think they're dumb and shit. But it feels like the most reason why people are getting annoyed of it is because they make a lot of money. But it could be argued that Patreon and those kind of places are maybe a true reflection of how much people actually like you because they're willing to pay money to listen to you speak. Because it's all well and good me rambling into this microphone for free, right? With whatever views I get, no one gives a shit. But if people are willing to pay money to listen to you behind a paywall, that usually means what you're doing or saying is resonating with people and they're willing to pay you money for it so they're willing to compensate you for that fact and it doesn't matter if it's one person or a million people those are actual fans so when people kind of attack them for making money it feels like it's also an attack on the listenership like as if oh how dumb are you you listen to his girls like it's not really a dumb thing it's just entertainment they provide you with a couple of hours of entertainment what every two months no every two weeks if if that and yeah it's fun i don't really know but i think a lot of the hate they get is only because they make money i really do feel like that as much as people disagree with their politics and their worldviews i think most of it has to do with the money it continues here says another person says anna got covid purely through get being a dumbass lmao another person says anna her, anna k hurt the people so anna k hurt that people are making fun of her for getting slammed by covid i thought these women's like victim blaming you reap what you sow it's interesting too because i think she got covid and then anna k's nemesis aoc got covid too people are hypothesizing that aoc got covid because she licked her boyfriend's feet and people are hypothesizing that Anna K got COVID because she might have licked Alex Jones's armpit. I think so, but who knows? And that person says here, um, 
it probably wasn't even COVID. That's when, that's just when she was diagnosed. Anna Kay was out there stealing cocaine model Valor when she really just looks like that because she has a chronic autoimmune disorder. Yo, people really hate these girls, isn't it? Jesus, another person here says Anna Kay in hospital with some severe complications from COVID after taking her IV drip off after an hour. She doesn't get too many calories. Yo, people absolutely hate these girls. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing here. What else? Another one's got a lot of views. People saying um, her Anna Kay almost died. Me trying to hit. Okay, I don't know what that's about. Another person says here Anna Kay nearly dying from COVID and insisting that it was just a random autoimmune disorder that had nothing to do with her being affected. Storyline is both sad and funny. Um, Da, 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 da. oh yeah let's read a quote actually from reddit i thought that that, that that and then ended there we can move on but i thought that this was a fairly interesting exchange and again i think she just needs to put her phone down someone that's close to anna and as a friend needs to just tell her to stop replying to random people on the internet because it's not going to help so this is the kind of back and forth shared with somebody on the subreddit which i thought was fairly fairly funny because that person was going for her neck and wasn't really letting up in any way shape or form so let's just quickly check this out once it loads on here her freaking load come on you mother yeah there you go so this is courtesy of reddit someone was not giving her any any kind of leeway and reminding her just how irresponsible she was with her platform me, 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 me. people on the internet are wild man this stuff i don't like usually the stuff that i don't like i either take the piss out of it like comedically or i just ignore it right but i don't you know actively listen to it for it to piss me off i try not to do that the last time I did that was like um, Two Bears, One Cave podcast with like Burt Crash and Tom Segura. I couldn't stand Burt, so I just stopped listening to the pod. Doesn't mean I'm going to leave hate comments underneath it or get riled up if, if they do something that I don't like. So it's not that deep. But anyway, this is this is the back and forth of Reddit. I'm going to read it out for you if you're just listening to the podcast itself. So this is uh, somebody commenting, I guess, on the, um, to on, the, on the topic of the show, I think. So someone says here, LMAO, Anna's cope is hilarious. They both got COVID, both had wildly different experiences, but Anna refuses to admit maybe the fact that she was unvaxxed and Dasha was vaxxed has something to do with their different experiences. And then, and then obviously Anna replies because she's on the subreddit, which I think is a bad idea. Um, she says, hmm, I was told by two different doctors that this freak auto-inflammatory reaction could have equally been caused by the vaccine. Given that I didn't develop any respiratory symptoms and cleared um, the COVID itself from my system pretty quickly. What's, what's this, the COVID? Also, can someone tell me in the comments below if you know, is this a common thing? Because it's the first time I've heard somebody mention, supposedly if you don't get any respiratory sy sy symptoms, that, you could, that means you don't have COVID. Is that true? Or that makes you frozen to doubt that you might have COVID. I guess COVID mostly is like a, a what you call it? The, the the main consequences people have are respiratory in terms of like shortness of breath and whatnot. But this idea that just because you don't have any respiratory system symptoms, that it means that you don't have COVID. Where does that come from? Or is that just a woo-woo thing? Let me know if you know. Um, anyway, it continues here. It says, I wouldn't be too sure that what explains that that... I wouldn't be too sure that's what explains the different experiences. And given the seriousness of the situation, anyone scolding me over this shit is godless more and sorry. Again, you can't, you can't be a, you can't say shit like this. What did she expect people to do? People don't, people, some people clearly don't like these girls and any opportunity to dunk on them and to laugh and to point and to say, ha ha told you so they're going to take it. I don't think that's a bad thing. Same way that she didn't miss opportunity to laugh and, kind of say i told you so when aoc you know started you know pretending like she was gonna get fucking hung outside the capitol building when she was nowhere near the building itself right and she kind of proved oh yeah this woman is maybe an intention seeker and maybe her intentions aren't as pure as she makes it out to be but you know you have to expect the same too when you do something it is what it is the game is a game um that person replies back to her on twitter and says you know deep down i'm right I haven't posted on this sub in over a year and came here to call me godless moron because you know you fucked yourself. This disorder will follow you for the rest of your life. Ouch. The best you can do is lash out at a stranger who can see what you're doing. You're all about being honest with yourself and taking accountability, but the truth of what happened is that it's likely this bad because you're because you're immunocompromised and you didn't get the fucking vax. I didn't say fucking anyway. Call me a lib or whatever, 
but that's the truth of what happened and it had and it'd be better for your own health um who is not young or healthy ouch just got the vax because you're in a narrow category that actually needs it maybe i'm scolding you but you should be strong enough to swallow your pride and just get the help you need and this is from a fan too right so this is the thing you have to kind of notice um i know she would maybe argue and say maybe not a fan but i think this is a fan because only a fan would care this much really even when they're scolding you she replies back and says, no, I came here to make sure people weren't too mad about us not releasing an app for so long because I feel bad and guilty for the hiatus and was honestly stunned by the gross over eager judgment. That's one thing as well that I didn't get. Why didn't they just explain why they were off? Hey, we're off because we've got COVID. Give us some time to recover and we'll be back. And people just left it alone and then they would have been fine. They would have got some ha ha he is at, at that time, but it would have died down by now. I think holding everyone in suspense, not explaining what happened and then explaining it and trying to cope and diminish you know, and trying to rationalize it when we all know what the issue is <laughs> clearly it, it they basically kind of shot themselves in the foot it felt like it continues it's also creepy and mean spirited to say of someone especially someone who just went through a health crisis their disorder will follow them for the rest of their life when you don't know what you're talking about there's a good chance my condition will go into remission and as i said on the pod which people seem to have missed it's been equally de documented in people who got the vaccine so there's no guarantee that's what it did it either way that's from my doctors by the way prior to this i've never had any health problems whatsoever i'm a strong resilient person and will get through it my bad for lashing out and good luck to you and k is getting the absolute bombs on her own subreddit man but yeah they got covid one person had the vax got over it quickly one person didn't got all an immune disease nearly died on her you know in the hospital alone um joints freezing up and shit like i can't imagine how scary that must have all been that situation so again i'm glad they're okay i'm glad they're on the road to recovery i'm glad the pod is back but jesus man what a way to make a comeback in it what a way to make a fucking comeback after all that time out <laughs> oh mate pe people were wondering where they were and that's where they were they weren't they weren't they went to some art ho party you know getting fucked up and talking shit they were actually <laughs> on their deathbeds you know separately trying to recover uh you gotta love it man you gotta love it you really do but yeah anyway